and believe me, a corn kernel next to this will not emerge. So you want seed to soil contact in the spring, not seed to residue contact. Hi, and welcome back to another agronomic update here in North Central Iowa. Phil Long, regional agronomist with Liquid Grow, talking today about residue, residue breakdown, and why that's so important. Can we do anything to speed up and why it's so tough to get these to break down? So these can be in the soil for a long time and some of that is dealing with it in the spring with equipment on your planter as well. Uh, but the other thing that we can do is managing it in the fall. So some of the things we can do, the tillage side, uh, Iowa State did a study back in 2019. It was a three year study looking at different tillage methods, no till, strip till, uh, and like a ripper or a deep tillage uh, and found that it doesn't help break down residue. So actually what that does is it's aerating the soil. It's actually breaking down organic matter, unfortunately. Uh, that's not what, not what we want to do, but organic matter in the soil. This is residue or organic material, which may someday become organic matter in the soil, but uh, tillage is not helping break this down. But what tillage does is it does help cutting this up. That's one of the number one things, and I got this one here kind of cut up. So if we can break this into smaller pieces, it allows the microbes to get at it uh, from more sides essentially. Uh, one of the other things we can do so and I'm going to lump uh, you know a chopping head uh, for a corn head as well as like a vertical tillage tool all can help size and it, lots of tillage tools help size residue so that's an important part. The other thing you can do is is smash it so the devastators that Yetter makes uh, can go on your corn head I like those this is what this field has here and you can see every stalk out here is smashed and opened up it's, it does a really nice job fanning it out uh, kind of opening it up the softer center pith here so that it can, the microbes can get at that and break that down faster. Like I said, this outside part's going to stick around for a while, but if we can break down some of this quicker, it gets that part broken down that much faster and that much less that we have to deal with in the spring, uh, in future years even, for seed to uh, residue contact, which we don't want. So that's one of the things we can do. There are residue breakdown products. That's something that we're looking at a lot heavier now. So stay tuned for that and our, our research updates coming out this fall as well as the, the coming years, we're gonna look really hard at that and give it a good test and see which products are, are worth their weight. Uh, so tillage is important. The other thing, one of the keys to keeping this stuff out of the furrow from what I've seen over time is number one, not tilling it at seed depth. So uh, this would be like chisel plows, which there's not a lot of those around, but I have seen many times, uh, and potentially doing more than one pass in the fall. So incorporating this residue to a seed depth in the fall is not a good idea. Uh, I tend to see more issues with emergence uh, doing that. If you're just pulling a ripper or something like that, a lot of times we don't see that as, much, uh, as much issues. And a lot of the conservation tillage tools nowadays uh, tend to leave more of it on the surface. It's easier to deal with on the surface uh, in the springtime at planting. So just some tips to think about. It takes a long time for this stuff to break down. So we need to manage it in the fall and spring. It needs to be constantly on our mind because this is critical to emergence, which is obviously critical for corn yield. So thanks for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you on our next video. Stay in the know with Liquid Grow.